If you're trying to be successful in management, and I mean, if you're in management, why would you not try? You need to watch this video specifically, point number four. I promise it won't let you down. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help new managers become more confident leaders, and I do that with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. And because you're watching this video, I know that you need, or at least want, or should have, my free PDF of 14 things that new managers should know before they get started. And if you've already started managing, you're also gonna find a few tips in there that are worth the download, I promise. So you want to be a more successful manager. You want to be the top of your game. You need to know these five things. The first thing is you need to know how to communicate effectively. That means when your team is being delegated a task, that you're able to clearly let them know what it is that they're responsible for. A lot of times your team won't be able to perform up to standards or up to your expectations if you haven't clearly communicated what it is that you need done. In addition to clearly communicating, you have to be able to listen. Listening is part of communication. This may be news to some of you, this may not be news to others, but you have to be able to listen. So many times people wanna get into a leadership position because they wanna be able to tell people what's going on, tell people what to do, tell people. Leadership management is not about telling people. Majority of it, the best part of it is listening to people understanding the issues they're having, understanding what's going on, where there could be problems, understanding when they don't understand. That's the biggest part of communication is the listening. The second part is communicating clearly, but you have to find a balance. You want to find the balance so that your team knows what's up. This is extremely important. But it's something that I'm finding more and more these days that a lot of people are lacking. Integrity. What do you stand for? Where's your line in the sand? How can people count on you? Do they know that they can trust you? Are you honest? Where is your integrity? So many people think that they can just kind of sneak one by here and there. When your team does not believe that you have integrity, when your team does not believe that you will do the right thing when it's the right thing to do, regardless of who's watching, you're going to lose your team. They don't trust you. They won't come to you. They won't open up. Integrity is a huge pillar to you as a human being, as a friend, as a father, a mother, a son, a person on the team. If you don't have integrity, I don't know how to help you. You might as well stop watching right now, but I'm certain that if you are watching this video, that you do have integrity and you just need to know, make sure you stand up for what you believe is right. Even if you take a few hits on the chin, you will earn the most respect from those around you when they know where you stand, when they know that you work only with integrity at the forefront of every job, every discussion, you have integrity. Did you pick up on that yet? Integrity is very important. The next thing that will help you stand out and be a successful leader is by standing out and being visible. So many times, people want to get into that management position. They want that corner office. They want that nice, cushy chair. But they forget that what got them there or what will get them further is being visible so that your team knows that you're there for them, so that your team feels comfortable talking to you, coming to you with situations that might have occurred. If you're not visible and your team never has any idea where you are, not that they need to keep tabs, but being visible makes it easier for you to understand what's happening with your team. If they can't find you, they may think you're hiding from them. They may think that you're unapproachable. They may think that, you are too good to be hanging out with them, to be talking to them, to be mingling with them. And that is not the case. So you want to make sure. I'm not saying you stand at somebody's desk for the entire day. That's micromanaging. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is being able, 
walking through the office, making sure that people know that you're there, making sure that they know they can come and talk to you. So be visible to your team. At this point in the video, if there's anything you like, you need to click clack that like button because that helps it to get to some more people and we'll get rid of the deadbeat managers and we're going to get a lot more better people like you. So if you're good, if you're a good manager, you're probably just going to click that like button right now. Okay, number four, and I told you this was one of the most important ones. If you want to be a successful manager, if you want to be a successful leader, you need to continue learning. You need to be picking up books. You need to be having a mentor at work. You need to be learning from your boss, from your associates around you. Perhaps you want to sign up to be part of my membership. It's a 12-month membership. And every month we do a master class. Every month we have live Q&A. You also get 24-hour email access to me. So if you have any questions coming up, you can just chat with me. I can't get to all of them when they're in the comment section. I try, I put an honest effort, but some of them just slip by. Some of them are way too, they just need too much detail that I can't get to. So sign up because in a few weeks, the doors will be open, officially launching the No Nonsense Leadership Academy. That said, you must keep learning. You must be watching videos like these, watching videos from other creators, going on Skillshare, going on Udemy, just trying to get as much information as you can and always learn. Learn from people's mistakes. Learn from people's successes. Just always be open to learning from every situation that you're in. That is going to catapult you to success. Like, whoosh, throw you. And finally, self-confidence. You need to understand that you were selected, you were promoted, you were hired because the person making that decision saw what you have, saw your potential, but also saw what you bring in terms of a person as a leader. So you need to lean on that. If ever you doubt yourself, understand you can doubt yourself. That's fine. But somebody else, they have the utmost faith that you can get the job done. They would not have jeopardized their career bringing you in if you're useless. So try not to get down on yourself. Try to build your confidence up on that pillar that somebody else saw the strength that you have and work on that. Again, if self-confidence is something that you struggle with, and that's highly likely because if you're a new manager, we all get nervous. We all get a little bit thinking we maybe we bit off more than we can chew. That's why you want to join the membership, the No Nonsense Leadership Academy, because we have a team. We do live chats where everybody's on a Zoom call and we get to build relationships. We need to work together. Doing that, we build each other's confidence up. When you hear from other leaders that have had similar problems or have navigated a problem that you never even thought of, you start to build the confidence. It ties back into the always learning. Having discussions with other like-minded people helps you learn, helps you become better. So I suggest you hit this link because when the academy opens, it's only open for one week and then it shuts down again. I warned you, click like that link right here. Ciao.